What's up? How's it going, y'all? How we been? It's a little uh, holiday season. And this year, I know that the festivities are gonna be different. So I figured I would do something fun for myself um, so that I can still kind of celebrate Christmas. <sighs> I should have gotten more water before I started, but whatever. I am feeling ambitious today. Um, I want to do like a cut crease. <sighs> Crazy, I know. I'm thinking of doing a green cut crease um, and a little bit of green under my eyes and red eyeliner. Now I know that's ambitious. I know it's crazy. I know it's never been done before on this channel, but you know what? I'm gonna try it anyways. I've already moisturized my face and I'm putting on a primer. I like, I'm not, I'm like so nervous to even get started. I like don't really know um, how to start on this cut crease. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Medium for my eyes as like a base for this cut crease. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my fingers. I'm gonna go in with, of course, my BH Cosmetics 120 Colors palette. I'm gonna go with one of these two greens, and then I'll go in with this green to like darken it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna start packing that in there. Ooh. So I'm just like patting in this color. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and Blend this out a little. So I'm gonna go in with this um, darker green over here and I'm gonna use this like precise brush, this more precise brush and um, use that in the crease to kind of darken this up a little bit. And also I'm not super concerned about like how the like edges look because I'm going to clean that up like shortly. And now I'm going to take that same blending brush from before and just kind of like blend this, um, you know, further into the crease so that, you know, I can kind of deepen this up a little. We don't want any harsh lines. We just want nice, pretty blending. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with an even darker green. I have this like one-off green. It's like a mix from different, different palettes. I have literally no idea like where this, oops, where this green came from, but it's like this dark green here. And I'm gonna take that like super dark, um, almost like army green and put that into the crease as well. Um, right in the corner to just further deepen this up a little. And after that, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and then just like blend that in a little bit further so that I can ensure that everything is blended in nicely. We want everything to just blend in beautifully. No harsh lines. Now I'm gonna take some super old and scary makeup remover that I'm very nervous about. <laughs> and I'm going to get my Q-tip damp and start removing, whoa, this eyeshadow. I'm gonna try my hardest to do the same thing on the other eye. Wow, okay, <laughs> I did that. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, boo. All right, wow. I honestly didn't even think I'd get this far. If I'm being perfectly and entirely honest with you. Wow. I think I'm gonna do the eyeliner now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know I hate doing eyeliner. 
on camera. It never turns out well. I'm gonna use this um, eyeshadow palette as like a mirror, so bear with me here. But I'm gonna try to film this on camera, but I can't promise you anything. You guys know how hard it is for me to film this. Okay, the eyeliner is on, but it's not. It's not where I need it to be. So I'm going to go in with a red eyeshadow and like brush over it, I guess, just to see if I can like deepen the color a little bit. Okay, I think that's actually a little bit better. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm just gonna start putting on my foundation and my concealer. I'm using, as usual, the Glossier Skin Tint, um, and I'm just using my hands to blend that in. I'm gonna use my Glossier Stretch Concealer um, and then take it a step further and use this little brush to get uh, my eyeliner looking a little bit better. Yeah, I just wanna cover up any dark spots or any even fallout that may have occurred. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna add more red underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this uh, red. Oh, um, the red is just like a Makeup Forever, like individual red color. And I'm going to pack that under and I'm gonna go in with that like uh, this little brush again that I used for my eyeliner and I'm going to just kind of define this line down here and next I'm gonna just add in like a light, nice like um, bright, almost white um, color. Usually I go in with like my e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearl, but today I have no idea where that is. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked um, Heat Palette and I'm gonna take this color ounce and uh, it's like this like champagne-y color. I actually want to like lighten that up a little bit more so I'm gonna go in with the like Maybelline the nudes palette um, and I'm gonna go in with this like white color over here and I'm really gonna like concentrate that in my inner corner I'm not gonna blend it out I'm just gonna like put that in my inner corner I'm gonna take that same like light um, color from the Maybelline nudes palette and put that on my brow bone. Um, again, I always wish that I could do some fake eyelashes. It is not my strong suit. I'll tell you that right now. It's not even a little bit my strong suit, so I'm not even gonna try, but uh, I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll just get back to you once I'm done. Hey. <laughs> um, Eyelashes are on, or done, they're not on. Um, now I'm also just gonna like redefine my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Glossier Brow Flick to fill in my brows, and then I'll use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil um, to further shape my brows.
Because I lost my highlighter, I have no idea like where it is. I'm just gonna use this um, Glow Milk by The Beauty Crop. And I used this in my last makeup video. I'm just gonna put a little bit, oh, I should've put on blush first, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna dab this onto my cheeks. Um, and then for blush, I'm just gonna take this Bobbi Brown blush in the color Nectar um, and lightly swipe that across my cheeks. I like to always bring up my blush toward my temples. I just really like the way that that looks. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on my nose. Um, I'm also gonna dot on some freckles cause I'm getting like some fun, like Christmas elf vibes right now. So I'm gonna dot on some freckles and focus these mostly on my nose. I have been debating this entire time as to whether or not I wanna do like a strong like red lip or if I just wanna like keep this as is. It's Christmas time and I'm gonna say it. let's do it. I am going to line my lippies. I don't know why I hate that I said it like that. I'm gonna line my lips with this um, NYX lip liner and it is not quite red but it's gonna be fine for like putting a red over it. And then I'm gonna go and um, just use this NARS red lip. It's in like, ooh, it's called Cruella. I think now the question is, do I turn this into a glossy red lip? <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I adore it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And you know what? This is a look. This is a, a look of vibe. Um, I think that's it. I think that's like the look. I'm gonna take my hair down so you guys can, can really see what's going on here. <laughs> These earrings are so ridiculous. They light up, I think or one of them lights up. I think they're broken. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, what am I gonna do with my hair right now? I think half up, half down is the way to go. Wow, so guys, um, this is the finished look. Um, this is my first cut crease ever. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? I'd love to know, oh my gosh. I really like it, I like, I honestly didn't think that it was going to turn out this well. Like, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I will say, I think I could have done better with the eyeliner. But all in all, as far as, like, of the first time I've ever done a cut crease, I think I did a really good job. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm so happy you guys watched this far. Leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this video, what video you'd like to see next. If you're new here, thanks so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to hit the little bell button for notifications when I post new videos. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All that being said, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>